up YouTube it's your girl Miss Danny Jeanette and I'm back with another video so today we're gonna get into some real college advice for my freshmen out there so if you're interested then just keep on watching okay so the first thing is please do not get an 8 a.m. class that's the worst thing to do it's like you're setting yourself up seriously from experience I cannot tell you how many times I have skipped an 8 a.m. class or I just dang I'm telling on myself I'm being real okay so I didn't skip 8 a.m. class and I just been late because it's just like it's not the same thing as getting up for 8 a.m. in high school. It is so much different. Like you don't have the you don't have people on your case telling you to get up and go to class. You're here by yourself. It's gonna be your choice and you're gonna get comfortable not going and then you're gonna see a great job. So please do not get an 8 a.m. class. My second um, advice to you would be as soon as you're in your classes read your syllabus they don't tell you to do it for nothing seriously do it your syllabus is like your bible for the class it has office hours information your grading information information about late and missing assignments and some teachers are lenient only if you know what the policy is if you just go up asking about it like some teachers will get really smart on you and say no because you did not read my syllabus trust me i know it's happened before everything i'm saying i'm talking from experience it might not be me but i'm letting you know this is what i've seen and this is what i've heard so it's just like read your syllabus everything is in there for you provided for you for the class book information I mean literally everything is in there so make sure you print out your syllabus and read it and make sure you know it from front to back so that way you're always on page and up-to-date with assignments my third piece of advice for you is go to class just go to class I know you get to college you're on your own you make your own decisions you'd be like okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to class I'll still catch up but the truth is, like reality is, you'll get comfortable not going to class and then you'll just fall behind, okay? I don't know about your circumstance, but I had to take out loans to go to school. So that means I'm paying for school. And I'm not just finna sit here and waste my money. College is expensive. Somebody's money is being used, so you need to go to class. It's nothing like just sitting in your room all day not doing nothing or just hanging out and socializing all day does nothing for your college career. Except if you're networking, it all depends. But like, go to class. That's what you're here at college for. That should be your number one priority. So make sure you just go to class. Go to class. Last time I said, go to class. <laughs> the last piece of advice um, for your classes is to get to know your professor and go to their office hours. Why? Let me tell you from experience. I had to retake a calculus class. The first time I took it, I took it in a regular fall semester. I didn't get to know my teacher. I was struggling, you know. Um, I didn't get any help and I failed the class. Well, I didn't fail, but I wouldn't fail if I didn't withdraw. So, and it's better like, it's better to have, I mean, it all goes on your transcript regardless, but it's better to have a withdraw than a fail. So I withdrew from the class and then I decided to take it for the summertime again. I took it in summertime and it's shorter, that's four weeks. So I only have four weeks to get it together. So the first day, she went over the syllabus. Second day, she taught the class. On the second day after class, I was the first one and the only one in her office hours. She knew me by name. She knew what areas I was struggling in and she helped me with my assignments. And eventually, I passed the class because when you show when you show up to your professor's office hours and they see you like putting in the extra work like you're trying as much as you can then most likely they will pass you no matter how hard you because they know you've been trying they know you've been putting in the work so it's definitely beneficial meet your professor make sure they know you on a first name basis and use their office hours to your advantage okay so your roommate will either be your best friend or your sworn enemy if i were you i would try to be friends with your roommate why because if you live in a dorm that's the first person that you will meet on campus that's the first person you actually get to interact and practice those conversations you know you're leaving your friends behind 
back home. But that person that lives with you, like you're gonna be with them every night, every morning. So if I were you, I would definitely try to be friends with them. You can go to events with them, get out and learn things. You learn different things about their culture. You know what I'm saying? Which ultimately brings you closer. So I would say become friends with your roommates so that you guys can, you know, you're not by yourself and together you guys can branch off and uh, figure out, you know, what you do like, what you don't like and figure out, you know, who you actually want to be friends with either through their friends or even through meeting somebody together. So definitely become friends with your roommate. Get involved on campus. Get involved on campus. Get involved on campus. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I didn't get involved on campus really until now. And it definitely opens up different doors for you. And it definitely shapes your college experience. For example, I am an RA now. I get free housing. I get a free meal plan. And I met a bunch of new people from everywhere. So it's definitely beneficial. And I'm not just saying, it can be it can be a leadership role, um, UPC or SGA, or you can get into clubs that you really like. I'm sure your school has um, different rush events or field events that you can go to and sign up for different clubs and see what it is. Entry, go to their interest in meetings to see if that's something you want to and become a part of that organization. There's scholarship opportunities between some organizations um, you get to get mentors through some organizations just don't be cooped up um, in your room get out there meet somebody new and join these organizations and join clubs okay so it's Friday night you and your friends are bored so you guys decide that you guys want to go out you guys want to drink my thing is that's fine that's what college students do they drink they turn up they party and have a good time but my advice is to make sure someone is going to be sober and if no one wants to step up to the plate then it needs to be you to step up because you don't you know the thing is when everyone is like if no one is in the right state mentally a lot of things could go wrong things can happen and it's just not being safe it's not being responsible and a part of coming to college is learning to grow, mature, and be responsible. And that's literally one of the first steps. So if no one wants to step up, you be the person to step up and decide to be sober. Just because you just want to be safe and cautious at all times. Lastly, call your mama, call your dad, call your granny, call your grandpa, your cousins, your auntie. Call your family, just call home. Let them know that you're doing all right. They want to know what you're doing. They want to make sure you're safe. You know what I mean? They be worried and things like that. This is the first time you've ever been like far away from them for a long time. So please don't get to school and act like you forget who your parents are. And I'm speaking from experience because there was a time where I didn't call one of my family um, members as much as I should have and I regret it. So I'm just saying like, please just call home two or three times a week let them know you're okay and don't only call them when you need money like yes they are parents they help you when you need help but call them just to check on them see how they're doing see how they're doing and i'm sure they're going to have a bunch of questions for you to see how you're doing and how you're adjusting so please call your family and if you miss a call call them back and make it a priority to call them back Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Give it a like if you want to see more college advice videos, college vlogs, and everything college. Let me know by liking the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're new, hello. I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you. Thank you for tuning in. And I guess I'll see you guys next video. Bye.